Hey y'all, welcome back and welcome if you're new. My name is Sheena and if you haven't already, please hit the like and subscribe button and let's go ahead and get into today's set. So today's set is a Jolix set, um, very beginner friendly and I just thought I'd do it. So the products I'm using today is this Nightshade by Nail Reserve, formerly known as Nail Addict and it's a really pretty shade of purple. I'm also using this purple shade from Rosalyn. I'll put the number, the color of the number on the screen because um, I wasn't in a bottle when I was doing my voiceover. And Lavender from McCart, which is a very light shade of a purple. So today's set is basically a purple set. So I incorporated three different shades. I'm also using Peachy by McCart and Femi Beauty. It is a nude gel polish and I don't know why but for some reason I always gravitate towards this for a nail bed because of that shimmer and I'm also using Blanc from the cart which is their white polish and it's pretty pretty nice so I'm just showing very very minimal prep because this nail set is going to come off anyways but when I'm prepping I start by just lightly pushing back all of my cuticles Then I'm taking the other side of that cuticle pusher and just lightly um, getting up any dead skin that I can. Um, I didn't go in with the e-file or anything because like I said, the nails are coming right off. But I just wanted to do just a minimal amount of prep work just kind of to show what I do normally do when I actually want the nails to adhere. And this is the pill base that I normally use, the Nail Reserve Pill Off. And I normally just go in with a very thin layer of this over all of my nails. And then I'll cure in the lamp for 60 seconds. So normally I go over the top of that pill off with a top coat and today I'm using this Model Ones top coat. I'm just going to place a thin layer of that over the pill off just to kind of protect it and for me I feel like it helps for the actual pill off to you know go a little smoother. Um, these nails come straight off whenever I'm ready. Um, I absolutely fell in love with this pill off base. I do have a discount code for nail reserve um, if you would like to go and look at their website for anything um, but if you're someone that does peel off I definitely recommend this peel off once I get the top coat on I do cure for 60 seconds Then I'm going in with this Born Pretty 6-in-1 nail glue just to adhere the nails. So I'm taking my full cover tip and I'm going to um, place some of that nail glue right into the nail well. Go at a 45 degree angle onto my actual nail and then go under my little um, LED light there and cure that for about 10 to 15 seconds just to like flash cure. When doing that, you want to make sure you don't have any bubbles and there's not much spillage, although you can fix that if need be. The tips I'm using today are my McCart XXL Stiletto Full Cover Tips. Um, and when you're doing the Gel X method, you want to make sure everything is properly prepped, so your natural nail and the nail tips. With your natural nails, you want to make sure to push back your cuticle, remove that dead skin, rough up the surface of your natural nail so there's scratches for better adhesion. Apply a dehydrator and primer of your choice. Go over that with a layer of base coat gel curing for 60 seconds and then you're ready to apply the nail tips. As far as the nail tips go, you want to make sure that the inside of the tip is etched for 
better adhesion. So either with an e-file or some primer, you can chemically etch that as well. And it just helps for the adherence of the actual nails. Once I do the flash cure of all five of my nails, I do go in my bigger lamp for a full 60 second cure. So once the nail tips are applied, I'm now taking my McCart Stephanie E-File and a fine grit sanding band. This sanding band is 180 grit and I'm just going around the cuticle area to remove any spillage that may be there as well as try and get that nice and flushed to my natural nail. And I don't know, this part here is pretty satisfying, especially when there's spillage. I find that I'm always pretty good at getting that spillage up. I mean, you don't want there to be any. I'm just saying for me, kind of special that way to where it's kind of fun to see just a little bit of spillage that I can actually get off. Um, but yeah, you want to make sure you're doing this so that everything looks nice and natural. And then I'm going in and buffing the shine off of all of the nails again so that everything adheres a bit better to the nail. So then I'm going in with this Model 1 base gel over all of the nails and the base gel is to help the gel polish adhere a bit better as well. So there's a lot of different steps you want to take when doing your own nails for the best adhesion possible, meaning you shouldn't have any lifting, um, nothing should just be falling off if everything is done properly, but I do apply a uh, thin layer of the base coat gel and then I do go ahead and cure in my lamp for 60 seconds. So I'm starting with the McCart shade Lavender and with Lavender I'm going to do a full color, color of this nail on my thumb as well as my pinky. I feel like this is such a beautiful shade. When it comes to pinks, I like the lighter shades like this, like this nice, like a lilac, something very light. So with pinks, I like the darker tones or the brighter, more out there tones. I like every shade of pink, let's get that right, but I mean, the darker ones you know, I gravitate towards a little bit more, the brighter neon ones. Um, and then with purples, it's like the lighter shades for me. Like dark purples are nice, but I absolutely love the lighter shades and purples. Um, it's just a go-to for me, definitely. And this shade here is absolutely beautiful. I love it. So for before curing, I go in with these little like Q-tip looking things. I saw this on Sandra's Sparkly Sets channel and they were just like genius for cleaning up around the cuticle. So I bought mine off Amazon and I can't remember how much I paid. I don't think it'll be much, but I will link it down below. She got hers off Shein and I'm sure she paid a lot less than I did. But I love these. These are like a go-to for me now when I'm cleaning up gel polish. And then I'm going in on my index, my middle, and my ring finger with Peachy, and it will be the base of all of these nails. And I'm not sure why, but like I said, I love this color as a nail bed for me. I feel like it's so perfect. I just love the, the extra shimmer in it. And I believe I do two coats of this, so I'm doing one on camera, and I'll do the second coat off of camera. I 
And then like I said it on my pinky, I'm going back in with this lavender shade. Such a really pretty creamy shade this one is. Um, I'm trying to get better with my gel polish application because a lot of times I'm not as neat as I can be. Which is why I bought those little q-tip thingies to assist me. Um, they work for the most part, but it's like anytime I try to get like a cleanup brush or anything to like clean up around my cuticle, I see so many p videos of others doing it all the time and it's perfect, but mine, it's like my gel polish just start to smear. It's just not a good look. So once I get everything set as far as the base color on all of the nails, I'm now going in with a layer of top coat and I'm going to top coat all over all of the nails and then cure my lamp for 60 seconds. At this time, I, I want to say I hope that everyone is having an amazing morning, afternoon, evening, or night, wherever you may be. And thank you to anyone that is here now watching my video or is going to watch my video or has watched a video in the past. Thank you so, so much. If you're new to my channel, welcome to the Nail Attic family, and I thank you so much for joining me on my nail journey. If there's anything you'd like to see, don't be afraid to comment down below. Also, you can comment down below and just say hi. I do love to interact with each and every one of you. And if you've been subscribed, I love you all so, so much. I love you more than I can say, and I'm very thankful and grateful for you all. If you're not subscribed yet, and you're listening, go ahead do you girl a favor hit the like on this video also go ahead then and subscribe and hit that post notification bell so we can become friends you can be a part of the nail Onyx family and enjoy my content thank you so back into the nail set i am taking the nightshade and i just made like a swirl line on my index and then i'm gonna flash cure that for about 10 15 seconds and then right on the other side of that, like the right side of that, I go in with the Rosalind shade, um, so the medium tone. And then I do the third line with that, the same swirly line with the lavender um, on the end. So I just wanted to incorporate a set with a lot of different purples. And I felt like this was a really, really cute set. I love how it came out. And it's a lot of times when I just think of something real quick to do and then I don't fall through with as far as like wearing them because you know if you guys have been watching my channel you know sometimes I wear my sets and sometimes I don't. Well this was one of those sets I decided to pop off and I was kind of upset because it was super cute and I did want to wear it but with that pillow off face underneath you can forget about it. It's definitely coming off at some point so yeah I had to take these off but they came out so so cute. So my sister's favorite color is purple. And when she saw these, she was like, hey, I want that same design on my hands. So I will be doing her nails today. It's Saturday. I will be doing her nails today or tonight. So of course I can't record it. It's the same exact design, but she loved it. So I'm, I'm really, really proud of myself for that. That someone, well, not really. I mean, I am proud of myself, but I was going to say that somebody likes them, but I get it a lot when I'm doing my own nails. People are like floored that I actually did them and it just makes me feel really nice. So now I'm taking Blanc and just making dots going from big to small on either side of those swirls. And then I give this nail a full 60 second cure. So on my middle finger, I tried a technique this time when I'm doing my French. This is a French nail. So I'm trying to do, um, I believe it was like the A method that I was hearing about. So I started with the line in the middle and now I'm doing the other two lines to kind of go up and create like an A shape. And then I'll kind of like round out that like where the nail area would be. For me, this was a total flop because it really didn't make an A. I, I was just like winging it. like. So with this video, I should have looked at another video real quick, like with the A technique, just to kind of get it down. But I was like, you know what, I'm just going to try it myself because most of the times when I do my fringes, I'm always like winging it, which is no problem because I like how my fringes come out. But I do kind of want like a steady method that I always use that is like surefied and guaranteed. But this fringe came out cute. So I'm using lavender again to make this fringe tip. And once I get it all filled in, I'm using the nail art brush to do so, as well as the actual gel polish brush. I do a full 60 second cure in my lamp. So 
So on my ring finger, I decided to make a few flowers and I wanted my petals to be like an actual flower petal um, because I see like a lot of times there's a lot of quick and easy ways to make flowers. Um, but I want to get a little better with my nail art brush. So I decided to try to kind of drop some teardrops, which also to me symbolizes like the leaves of a flower. And I felt like they came out really cute. So I made a flower with each of the shades. So one with nightshade and they're just half flowers, but one with nightshade, one with the Rosalind purple and then the um, lavender. Um, in between each of the flowers, I did go ahead and do a flash cure in my lamp for like 10 to 15 minutes. I mean seconds. <laughs> That's too long guys. Not 10 to 15 minutes, but seconds. And then once I got every day, every uh, like petal done, I did a full 60 second cure. And then came back with Blanc, which is the white shade from McCart, and made some white dots to make the center of these flowers. And then I cured again for 60 seconds. Y'all, I'm looking for another subscriber request video, so comment down below and let me know a set you would like to see me try or um, like a theme of a set you want me to do so that I can get a new subscriber request video up. My last one was the Ladybug one, and I'll try and link that. So also, I'm using this glitter from Walmart, and I love this glitter. I have to go back and get them all. But on my middle finger, I'm using my uh, nail art brush and some top coat. And I'm just top coating over the French area because I'm gonna leave that wet and then sprinkle over the glitters to make a sugared nail on the middle finger. I'm also doing that for my thumb and my pinky as well. So all of the areas that have a really good amount of that lavender shade will be sugared. And I love it, they, it topped everything off so well i already top coated my nail bed on this particular nail i'm doing now so i don't have to go back and top coat and i just love how this set came out it came out really really pretty So guys, lately I've been pretty bad about putting things in the cards, but I will definitely try to remember and start doing that. Um, I did top coat the the other two nails, so like my ring and my index off camera, and I'll be back right now with the final look. And here's the finished set. What y'all thinking? Are y'all thinking they're cute? I absolutely love them. I love the shape. These nails are super, super cute. I love the glitter, it's very nice. Comment down below and let me know what you think of this set. And if you've made it this far, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit the post notification bell so you don't miss any of my future sets. I thank you for joining me today, and I'll see you in my next one. Remember to be the best you that you can be, and much love to you all.